Hi everybody, James Packham from Harcourts Packham and I wanted to tie off the year giving you a final market wrap for 2022. So the RBA's caught some flack in the media uh, recently because of a statement that they made uh, some time ago that interest rates would not go up until the year 2024. And a lot of investors uh, took that announcement and went out and made investment decisions and committed themselves to loans uh, based on based on what they took as a promise. Of course, uh, what the RBA then did was they started increasing interest rates actually quite aggressively. And uh, even as recently as a few days ago, uh, they uh, increased the uh, interest rate by a further 25 basis points in December, which some people speculated might not happen. They wondered whether they were going to try and take the pressure off so that retailers could have a really strong um, a sales period up to Christmas, but obviously the RBA decided it was important to continue to put rates up. Now, the reason they're putting rates up is to get inflation under control. Inflation um, is something that scares the pants off of economists and government alike. It reduces the purchasing power of your savings. It can lead to a recession. Uh, it can lead to a, a, an explosion of uh, unemployment. And so they will do whatever it takes to manage inflation. And because they've not yet managed uh, to get really on top of inflation, we can expect to see rates continue to increase, uh, if not at the very least held at this level. Economists largely agree that probably the worst economic scenario that could play out would be something that we refer to as the false dawn, which is where things start to look like they're getting better the public's putting a lot of pressure on the RBA to drop interest rates to make their home loans more affordable. The RBA drops rates prematurely, but it's actually too early and it creates an explosion uh, of inflation and leads to a recession. So the RBA is aware of this. They're not likely to uh, yield to public pressure and they're likely to continue increasing rates. Now, where we're going to see a bit of an event in the housing market is when people come off their current fixed rates. A lot of people fixed in their home loan interest rate um, at very, very affordable rates, like 1.99% and, and things like that. And a lot of those fixed term loans are going to be expiring very, very soon. And we're going to see really large groups of homeowners suddenly going from 1.99 to perhaps a variable rate more like 5%. And that's going to cause a lot of shock uh, to them financially. Now, when you apply for a loan, they do test your serviceability. They test your ability to repay at a few interest uh, points higher. Uh, and it could be argued that, you know, uh, these people should theoretically be able to afford that. Uh, but the reality can feel very different when suddenly, you know, your interest rate more than doubles. And that also, uh, doesn't, uh, hasn't prevented people from going out in the interim since entering into those mortgages and buying other toys and things that, that come at some expense to them. So what's likely to happen is when we see people coming off those fixed rate loans, going to variable, they will continue to try and pay their mortgages. They'll hang on as long as they can, but we will see some people suffering mortgage distress that make the decision to sell. And what this means is that if you are thinking about selling, and, uh, and, and that's on the cards. I believe you're better to do it early in the year as opposed to later. December uh, has been extremely busy for us and one of the reasons for that is because people are calling us over to appraise their properties, list their properties with the plan to launch them into the market for sale very early in the year in the belief that the first quarter of 2023 will be the best time to sell uh, out of what's available in, in the foreseeable future. So if you're interested in talking with us, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you navigate the market and guide you through. Uh, we are all contactable, uh, largely right through the holidays as well, um, because we understand the real estate market never sleeps. Uh, but what I wanna say to you on behalf of everybody at Harcourts Packham is, Merry Christmas, have a happy new year. Thanks for your support. I hope it's been a wonderful year and uh, look forward to seeing you in 2023.